Yeah, yeah. I mean, at, at that point, like, maybe you, you try to mill them out or something, but unlike yeah. Mark's deck, which we saw on camera last time, I don't think either of these versions are running Primor. Yeah. Uh, nor should they, right? They're, yeah, they're, they're spending, spending all their money on, on, damage. on uh, web upgrades for FN. So he's looking through. I would think he's going to go for the He Doesn't Like You, but he could take the electric shock. I mean, yeah, because that's just you know, cheaper in a, in a money battle. Um, because you play the Electroshock, then you can't play the Gaffy Stick, etc., etc., right? Ernest, we have one Pomaz in the top four. Uh, so that player is playing against uh, Franco, who was on stream last round. Uh, Franco is playing Palpatine, so uh, Palpatine, of course, was an answer to the, uh, the prevalence of Pomaz at the very beginning of this format. So we're going to see how that shakes out. Uh, in the meantime, we will definitely see a... Ankar FN Trooper deck in the finals here. Yeah, it's a question. And Toronto uh, has had two Pomaz store champions so far, so we're you know Mark's a nice guy, but I'm not rooting for him. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what Palp can do. We'll see if Palp is in fact. Okay. So they both spent uh, two two cost upgrades. Uh, rolled them in. Gaffy Stick was not resolvable, but okay. So far, um, John's po Pomaz is doing better. He got a dollar off of it at least. <laughs> Ambush action? Was well, I think his Pomaz is doing worse. I mean, that's that's the worst his version of a Pomaz pass deck I've ever seen. He's got guys. Pomaz on the brain. You keep saying <laughs> he's going to do some like uh, yeah. he's, he's going to do some Mission Impossible thing, and Ankar is going to yeah. take off his mask and pose there. No, what do you think of uh, Holdout Blaster? It, 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 like, you, it, generally when you throw stuff on FN, right, you're just generally ramping up to what I'm assuming the end game is uh, riot control putting baton. rocket launchers and riot control batons on. So uh, usually you want redeploys. Yeah. I, like, I, I, you, guess, I guess it's good because, um, you know, the, the two and the plus two s sides on the Holdout Blaster you can combine with Uncar to... Yeah, do oh, with almost all right. weapons you just look at, okay, what can I resolve, right? Yeah. When he gets richer, he can resolve four of those sides, which makes it a very good FN weapon. Right. Like, Rack Control Baton, obviously incredible. <coughs> it's like the, the best. Battle of Knuckles is quite good. Rocket Launchers can be annoying, but also pretty good. It's two blanks. It's a problem. Yeah. Okay, so FN's coming in. The other FN is still lurking. He's trying to get away to... So I think um, what Dominic's trying to do is he wants to get rid of that um, two for a dollar mm -hmm. through Ankar's ability. So he really wanted something on the on the, on the trooper. trooper die, yeah. So he might re-roll it and use on card ability to get the dice back. Um, so John's position is looking pretty good. He's got the dollar to resolve the three, which is really nice. He's got shields. He's got focus for the. So he could do five damage if he wanted. Pick up a dollar. What is that last shield. card in John's hand though? Uh, there's the thing he's looking for. Gaffy stick. Gaffy stick. So that's going to be a two dollar swing for uh, for Dominic uh, if he does resolve the on card ability, which he, uh, you s you're saying that he will. He might, or he might choose to do the damage. I. Because he just wants to get that Gaffy Stick back on FN. So he's got two choices. Um, he has seen the hand, so he knows what's in it. Um, so I would use the Ankar ability myself. Because not that John needs a reroll, but he stopped the reroll, he stopped the play. So we see a focus into a two disrupt. Interesting. So if he uses the Ankar ability, he'll just get disrupted. Um, he saved himself two damage on that focus, though. So I don't think that's a bad trade. And you're going to get a one mil. So at this point in the game where the two damage isn't super important, I would still use the Ankar ability on it. But, you know, two damage isn't terrible. It's also two actions, though. Neither has anything to really use with Moss Eisley Spaceport. No, so it's going that way. Taking a dollar. Oh, but he had the he had the disrupt side showing. I mean, maybe that sure. wasn't such a good Well, the other, the other thing to think about, because FM's still going to roll in. Right. So he still might get the... Um, if John doesn't throw it away. Uh, electroshock. He gets the Electroshock, the dollar. Yeah, I'm not sure how relevant uh, those those sorts of die removal things are in this game. Because the dice just... Ah, that's what he's doing. I didn't know he had... So, okay. So yeah. FM's already got his best his best tool. Yep. He's got the Riot Control Baton, which hopefully he'll get two shots at. Another shot. Nope. Classic Riot Control Baton. <laughs> so, let me ask you something. I mean, you seem to be better at math than I am. Like, what are the odds... Like, how consistent is a right control baton with the reroll? No, it should be one and nine on the blank. Because oh, yeah. you, you reroll, and you have a mm -hmm. two thirds chance of not getting a blank, and then another two thirds chance of not getting a blank. So you're really four for. Um, uh, sorry. You're really. Uh, 
One and nine. It really should be one and nine. I'm, I'm sorry. The description of that was bad, but it should be one and nine on a blank. So it's it's uh, worse chance than rolling an eight-sided die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. He forgot to roll an FN. Which is something FN players will do. Yeah, because you spend you all that You do so time, many like, things, and you see stuff, an FN yeah. pool dice. Yeah. He doesn't actually roll an FN. Oh, he claimed. He claimed. He, he wanted the claim. Which I find interesting. Because FN could do something. He had no cards in hand, but... I guess he chose, I guess they valued that higher. Okay, so when you play Riot Control Blonde, it sure feels like more than one nine. <laughs> okay, so here's a Friends in Low Places. Uh, friends in Low Places, I just don't really feel like, uh, I, I would rather not spend the, maybe the action using that in a severe matchup, because your hand, your opponent's hand is going to be basically full of either supports or upgrades. Yes. Yeah, and well, you just want to know so you can watch, and you know what you're going to get from your on-car ability, right? But, yeah, I mean, the counterpoint to that is that you could have just saved that for a reroll, I think. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's not... It's not... Um, but this is mainly what you're using it for, because this doesn't have, like, big burst damage. So it's right. not like you're rerolling, 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 looking for a base and a lot of modifiers. Yep. So you don't worry about mitigation that much. Yep. If you take it, it's your back. We'll see. Okay. As you say that, right? <laughs> well, there's no feels your anger, so... Yeah. Uh, okay, Oof. so then John rolls, and he has the Imperial Inspection, and of course there's nothing on uh, nothing, yeah. nothing on Dominic's side. Yeah, Dominic needs an Imperial Inspection, because it can yeah. actually do some damage. Yeah, uh, Imperial Inspection. But John has uh, uh, two cards to overwrite those. Um, but they're, he's taking away his redeploys, which is, you know... I tell you, those, uh, those Stormtroopers and the Uncar and the FN are all art, alt arts created by uh, Starkiller Base, John Gobey, the player on the right. He, I think he, he gives them away through his Patreon. So if you go to his YouTube page, I'm pretty sure he has a, all the details on how to sign up yep. for his Patreon and all that. Yeah, they are some pretty re really yeah. good. He like, does that, and then the local tournaments. He'll yeah, he'll give them away too for local tournaments. Yeah. Okay, so that's a was that an FN resolution. Yeah, yeah I got, you should have got three bucks there, man. Oh no, that was just the no. disrupt, right? Disrupt. Yeah. It was he just disrupted, yeah. which is good. It's a really disrupt is valuable in this matchup, and a lot of others it isn't. But here it's one of the decks where it. well, there there you can see right. He just rolled a three uh, three melee for one resource. I mean, of course, Uncard does have that resource, yes. but then John has the disrupt well, for it. Well, I think. I mean, he knows what's in John's hand, so I think it'd be a good opportunity to uncar. Use that three dice for an yeah. uncar. Okay, he switches out the rocket launcher, so yeah, okay. So he lost his opportunity to uncar. Anything valuable. It's going to resolve two damage to two characters. Very nice. Yeah, so John's setup is starting to gather some steam. I mean, a lot of unfortunate blanks yeah. and, dis and the disrupts have I done think, a lot uh, of damage. I think an Imperial inspection earlier on, perhaps if it, Dominic had drawn that, would have turned things a lot better for him. Uh, He's going to uncar the Vibro Knife. Two bucks is two bucks. Now, did, did Dominic remember to put two... Oh, he got rid of the two shields on FN, was it? Yes. That's how he did the two yep. damage. Okay. So John's FN rolls out. Um, like he any money oh, he can Imperial yeah. Inspection nothing, but he can, the Disrupt just useful. Yep. Because he can take away all his money again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks like it's first order trooper roll in, save some cards for reroll. I don't know. Is that Inspection in his hand? No. No, no. Oh, it's, it's like some other. Yeah. It might be the best defense, I think. Uh, oh, no, it is. Think about the other one, the end one, because I'm surprised he rolled in on Kerr without playing. So, Dominic says that he doesn't like running, uh, like, netless. This might be an exception, though. So, like interesting. He played. He rolled in Ankar, and it looks like he had both a Salvage Stand and an Imperial Inspection. Which right. Is, seems weird. Like, those seem like auto plays since your first two actions. Yeah, it's, it's weird that he played the he doesn't like you, but he didn't decide to play. Not that he doesn't like you, but he. I mean, he plays it now, but he, he plays, plays uh, Friends, Friends in Low Places, places yeah. before playing the other two things. Uh, I think maybe he didn't realize that he could have bounced all that stuff on FN before he replaced it with a rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. So we have no money versus no money. Hunkers <laughs> are doing a good job countering each other. Money, but um, seven cost upgrades for John and only three for um, only three for uh, Dominic, and Dominic has two damage so far, so I think John's got the lead, if only slightly. He's probably going to get a little bit more damage here with the trooper. He'll all the, yep. either roll in damage or roll in money. Um, Dominic got two zero-cost cards in his hand. So that might be why he didn't play them. 
Because if Uncar is not going to get anything here, right. he's yeah. going to Uncar. Did why did he get two actions? Oh, do, uh, Dominic really passed or claimed without taking the dollar or rolling in the first order stormtrooper. Yeah, I, I, I noticed he did that last round too. It's uh, it's really weird. Really, it's really early claims. Um, interesting. I I'm a little perplexed by that. Um, I mean, giving up a dollar at a minimum is not great because you can play a three cost upgrade next round. And I mean, going first is not that helpful in this matchup. Yeah. So uh, still a little bit of a slap fight, I think. It's a gaffy stick. That might Ooh. be a uh, yeah, that might be a mistake. Yeah. I mean, you might be looking for what? He gets Ooh. to disrupt. Oh, he does get to. But he doesn't have imp his imperial away. inspection. <laughs> yeah, and he didn't play the imperial inspection. Yeah, that's time. interesting. I. I don't know. Okay, he doesn't get punished because he doesn't now, have any John, money for the salvage. Now, John, John gonna remember this? Oh, he doesn't have any money yeah. for salvage stand. Yep, that's true. Maybe he was more worried about that. Okay, so that's a one rice of, of the right baton there. That's harsh because you really want two riot control batons. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't feel like that's something you want to overwrite. Yeah, and you don't really need to push through damage unless, of course, he's trying to uncar here to get. Uh, oh, yeah. okay, friends in the place. <laughs> it's a whiff, though. So two imperial inspections. Yeah. No, it was our friends in the places. He's just. No, that's oh, why it's a whiff. It was a whiff because yeah. of the friends. But now he knows, like, if he plays out those imperial inspections, he'll uncar them right away, right? So he's actually keeping it. Yeah, so here's that on car activation, maybe trying to get some money. You know, nice. It's a uh, Lucas, why do their supposed to be aggro F and Dex deal no damage? I think it's because uh, I think Dominic and John have been just trading uh, on car activation. There's another Pretty much, yeah. jackpot That's by why. John. I mean, there's uh, been some control cards dealt. Yeah, so d control cards and just choking the opponent's resources so that, you know, a lot of these uh, sides in these uncar decks have pay sides. So. Yeah. I think they're just not able and, to And them. as we've mentioned, Dominic could have got some damage in, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But he's claimed early twice. Yep. Um, which is, you know, so there should be a couple more points of damage, but I agree. It's like turn four and two points of damage done. Man, I, I feel like if, if Uncar mirrors are going to be common, like loose ends is definitely going to be a card. I think that's going to yep. see some play. So IQA comes in, so got some pretty loaded up FN. So Ooh, nice roll. How FN rolls is going to be basically the rest of this game. Yeah. How these loaded FNs roll. Yep. Uh, so John there decided he wanted to change targets, uh, decided that FN was now the bigger threat instead of Uncar. I think yeah. that's the right move too. Definitely can do it. Uh, because with some decent rolls he could yeah. well, either kill FN if he's very lucky or at least put him very close. And I don't think... Oh. Oh, See that there is a there's an opportunity wasted for Imperial inspection, inspection yeah. yeah. Which is weird. He didn't put it down again, and he lost the three cost card. He, 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 might, have, he might have thought that um, if he played the Imperial inspection, John would just respond by overriding his gaffy stick with a three cost. So he might not have thought it was worth it. But you know, still anything that pressures your opponent into making a. a a decision that wasn't part so of the plan. So interesting play. Not something you say every day. He flanked yeah. a plus two money with no base money. <laughs> and he's not rolling first order stormtrooper again. To is he just forgetting, perhaps? <laughs> um, I mean, speed wise, the but you want to. Uh, it's got two blank sides, yep. so you want to re-roll that thing. Oh, this is just a decent roll here, though. It's a solid roll. Yeah, and he's got uh, the money. He's got the money to pay for it. Yeah, I think you're right, Lucas. Um, I mean, three character decks, right? They need so much control to handle Pomaz and other splash damage. Yep. So, so is is E Phasma and Guavian Trooper actually like a thing now? Oh yes, he, absolutely. Lucas is mentioning we yeah. had one on stream. We had one, we had one on stream. Oh, I think I think it's a good deck. Yeah. But you know, there is a we, two not named deck right now that is just it just holds down most three character decks. Like it oppresses all three character decks, right? Yeah, thermal in your way because your your three your three characters are just going to be like low health and yeah. so just feeding into yeah, it. U wings and all that. But no, if it wasn't for that, then yeah, E Phasma Trooper would be strong. Really, Guavian Trooper because Bala E Phasma Bala Trooper used to be very strong. Yeah, and then I guess because of the Pomaz stuff, that's when yeah. it just went yeah. away, right? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, this, it didn't get a lot in the set um, that other decks got, so. Uh, also, I don't think it turned out to be as consistent as Vader Raider in the end. Oh no, yeah. uh, especially not because Vader Raider yeah. got fixed. So Gominic's rolls have been a somewhat subpar. I mean, in comparison, because we're looking at you know two, six, seven damage on the. I mean, if he can come up with a dollar, yeah, he's, not, he's not getting the damage he needs. Yeah. So there's the on car activation, on cars starting again. Knife, more but money. 
He basically gave. Oh, he's got one card for reroll. That's not bad. Okay, he gets disrupt. I know. Let's see if Dominic remembers. He's got a third character. Yes. That he can please roll in that trooper. For God's <laughs> sakes. The trooper it's right in the to get center in. of the board. You think it's because it's an alternate art card that he's probably know. forgetting? It's like he's it's back in the Drudge Work days. So all he ever did was Drudge Work. But yeah. <laughs> 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's become a mini game now. Okay, so he does get a uh, two two melee side, and that's two, two unblockable. Yep, yeah, for FN. So FN sitting at four damage, and what is this? He's going to yep do two to FN. So that's the first two damage on John. So John. Uh, sitting in a very comfortable position right now. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, Dominic's already just a little over half health left. He claimed again. He could have oh got the man. shield. Dominic. He picks up. Uh, let, let's see if Dominic ever ever wants to play with alt arts ever again. <laughs> I mean, he, he, is he, oh. if there's something, chat, that we're missing, why he's not activating that personal <laughs> stream, I would love to hear it. I mean, he gets to claim. He yeah. can save himself from Imperial Inspection. I can see that. But he could just override it just as easily. Yes. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah, like that was a net one credit loss. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so four dollars on Dominic Town. Yep. Well, Starts was. with a holdout blaster with the ambush and the roll in. Uh, okay. Can't resolve. Uh, nope, can't resolve it. But so you override can use it, for override, car. override it as soon as you can. Or you yeah, and I'll override it before the disrupt comes, because yeah. now the uh, now FN has a disrupt side. Yeah, with his. Oh, uh, oh so no. it could be just a two credit loss. Okay, no, he might, he might, he might realize his mistake here. Does he have anything to override it with? Is the interesting question. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he has the money to do it if he needs to. Yeah, There's a fiber there. knuckle. Okay, that's, that's that's a very good one. Because okay. the mill side is actually really nice. So in now, this now uh, FN's FN's upgrades are uh, imperial inspection proof. And here's the rollout. Yep. Oh, I, yeah. I think you pay the money here. Just pay the money the for one yeah. extra. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. The money's pretty valuable to you. Nah, you can get it back anytime. That's fine. Oh, I guess yeah. Yeah. Oh, best defense. That's good. Gaffy stick. Last gaffy stick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, when that when that FN rolls in, it's just gonna be monster damage. That's true. Yeah. You save yourself a reroll too, bud. All right. So now here's John. John's like. Here, hey, remember, you've got this character. <laughs> Look at me rolling in this first order trip. Uh, okay, he gets a blank a lot, yeah. but... Okay, so, uh, ooh, two focus. That's a really good side. Uh, uh, one focus and two oh, focus. My bad, my bad. Yeah, he does. Again, the, the Gaffy Stick would have been back in the hand. So many times. He's got, his Gaffy Stack's got nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> I think the inspections are all in the bin anyway. Yeah. At this point, they were all re-rolled. So John's thinking about, I mean, uncurring, yeah, he gets rid of it. So you, you just re you do that because um, just more of the sides are relevant on the... Oh, uh, well, you do that, but he also wanted the three costs out of his hand. Now, uh, from yes. what I can see in his hand, he's got right. two one costs. Plus, you get a free dice. Yep. Like, it's not a bad... Unless you're running low on cards, it's a great thing. So he just did three damage, right? Nice. Is it and three damage or one damage to each? One damage to each. Yeah. One damage to each, but... You know, I mean, Ankar's life doesn't matter a whole lot because once the other two are dead, Ankar's dead. Yep, one quarter portion discarded from Ankar's ability there. Card I do $1 not $1 like. Back. I, I yeah, don't I understand. If you have lots of other decent control cards, I don't know why people put that in there. I think I think the European National Champion, they were just trying to put in as many, like, removal lives. cards that didn't require <laughs> yeah. your own dice being rolled yeah. into the pool, right? So, yeah, I mean, you, exactly. you have the money to pay for it, but yeah. in a lot of matchups, giving them a dollar is rough. It's going to cost you. Okay, so you have a lot of disrupt, yeah. so giving them a dollar is not terrible. But you see it like Django decks and stuff. I don't know. Uh, there's a build your own thermal detonator on the table right there. So two damage to each of two characters, one damage to each of yep. three characters. Uh, discard to reroll on cars, one die. Or sorry, no, that was a vibro knuckler die. Yeah, vibro knuckler, yep. Oh, he overwrote. Okay, okay let's see if he remembers the ambush. Let's get an ambush? Yeah. Uh, ambushes like Viper Necklers, I always forget, has ambush. I don't know, I think it's because I'm so used to gray cards having ambush on them. Uh, hold up blasters and fire yeah. events and all that stuff. Well, DL44. Oh, like uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> DL44? Yeah. Oh, the, the yellow one? The yeah. Hans. Right. So, yeah, that Rocket Tool one on. Oh, no, that was FN. Okay. So, Rocket Tool one does come up nicely. Okay, this here's uh, one damage. Another. Yeah. Man, Flamethrower doing work. And now, the, six damage yeah, with the, the rocket launcher. Work. So, both on FN and on Carplet. 
So that means Uncar is sitting at six damage. Uh, FN only has two health left. Oh, well, he can, he's going to die next turn. Next action. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I think he realizes that, so he just yeah. does what he can. So there goes FN. FN's down. Dominic, do not forget the redeploy. <laughs> and this is where you really <laughs> regret not, I think, getting rid of that Riot Control baton. Yeah. And uh, let's see if if uh, maybe if the stormtrooper's holding a Riot baton, <laughs> then uh, he might roll it in. Got it, yeah. So here's an Ankar rollout. <laughs> Disrupt. Uh, Imperial inspection would not do anything. No. Nope. Salvage stand. Like don't. Ro okay, now don't roll in the, f the first other two, two hundred meter. Please no. Oh, gets another redeploy. Okay. Oh, not many just over, over. Oh, got the gaffy stick out. Okay. Okay. He can't resolve it. Oh, I mean, no. Yep. Got one card left. I mean, what he wants to do is he wants to force him to kill him, so he gets the redeploy. Yep. So, you definitely, I think you want to re just re-roll these dice before you do anything else. John really doesn't want to kill him. <laughs> I'll just kill Unkar instead. I mean, yeah. Wait, he doesn't have enough to kill Unkar. Right? He could focus to kill Unkar? I don't think so. Alright, so now, uh, so now Imperial Inspection oh. triggers on the re-roll. So there goes the Gaffy Stick die. That's right, so he can uncar him for... And that was, that was a play I, I knew John was probably going to consider because, uh, you know, you have all these dice. That's probably why he rolled the dice that he did. So I, in my, in my case, if I was me, I would chuck the gaffy stick because it's never going to stay on the table. Yeah. And re-roll the, the riot control baton. Chuck the gaffy stick, re-roll the riot control baton. Force him to kill him. Force him to kill him. Yeah. Because that's a roll. That's a riot control baton roll. It's worth way more than this trooper does. Like now you're gonna discard to re-roll yeah. uh, your trooper die. <laughs> oh, he's still not killing him, okay. But it doesn't really help. It's a flank. Uh, yeah, discard to re-roll. I mean. Oh, yeah, super. Dominic's dice have not been correct. Yeah, they have not been correct. Yeah. 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 So now I'm asked to decide who to, to to move it to. I I mean I'd probably put on. Ankar, I would put I on Ankar. Yeah, because you, you know you're gonna roll him out first anyway, right? Not only that, I think he's gonna try to kill the trooper because that's some damage there at least. Yeah. Right? So I think it's. But if he kills the trooper, fine. Then he just goes on car eventually. Yeah. So actually, trooper's not a bad idea. And it's, it's just a question of like when you're gonna uh, force the trigger the redeploy, right? If both characters have activated already, it's not that bad. Yeah. Well, I would roll in the trooper right away first. Oh, and John's trooper's doing work. Two more damage. Yeah, things are not looking good for John. I'm oh, sorry, Dominic, right now. Looking terrible. And John's. I don't think he's. I think his stuff is still in the. Um, I can't remember, I think one, one riot control is uh, gone, but I think he still has over over um, redeploy stuff to put yeah. on, I think. So even if he manages to kill him, it's just going to all go to the trooper. Yeah, it's, this one is uh, looking very badly for Dominic. So, so what, what do you think the lesson is here from from watching this mirror? Like, what do you think? Uh, I would say you play yourself, Stan, play your Imperial yeah. Inspection. Yeah, they're still relevant. They're still right? like very it good. Months. It's zero. Um, because you saw what they did for John, like Lucas is saying in the chat. Yeah. So play those when you have them, for sure. Yeah. Um, there's zero cost. You give up a re-roll, no big deal. Yeah. And you roll in your roll in your troop. You, you <laughs> slow the tempo of the the stepping up Absolutely. of the upgrades on yeah. FN, right? So yeah. I think if uh, if Dominic had played the Imperial Inspections even after. Oh, and salvage stand too. Like yeah, he could have drained him a well. lot of money. And um, rolling trooper. I think we missed three trooper rolls yeah. in. And I don't know if there was there was value in claiming. So th this might be the first time uh, you know people are experiencing mirror matches of this deck. Like you know only now, especially with the European nationals uh, having passed and this deck winning. But that's just um, sticking to your game plan. Like it's really yeah. that should be your game plan anyway. Would you play those two upgrades? So I mean I can see why because there's so many three costs too. I think that's right. not as useful. But oh. Here's a vibronacular <laughs> placement. Let's see what he gets. And, you, and the only counter argument would be, well, keep zeros in your hand for Ankar, yeah. but... Okay, okay so then, there's the redeploy. Yeah. Yeah. So now he's got five resources worth of redeploy. Okay, so that's probably killing off Ankar. Un no, well, you can't resolve a rate yet. Yeah, but he will. But, yeah, this is a discard. Okay, so he can get a zero, he can get a flamethrower. Oh, he got the zero. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, things are not going so well for... His final Ankar was... <laughs> Yeah, and then so now he can just overwrite the gaffy stick with the flamethrower. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then roll in a monster, like a, just an absolute monster. <laughs> well, he needs to get the money first because uh, once he, he rolls two. in, yeah, once he rolls in the flamethrower, like assuming he gets like a high damage uh, side, like the four for one. He still has on car. Yeah, exactly. So I think, yeah, he can just finish. He, he'll finish it off this round. Pretty easy. I don't, I don't see, I don't see him having trouble getting five days. I guess the argument to not play the um, flamethrower is, is a reroll might be necessary. Yeah. So you could hold it for that. But Ankar has two focus, has a focus side. Just so much. Oh, he's got a trooper still to roll into. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is okay. So what, that's three. There you go. There's five. Yeah. Three, four, five. Yeah. And I don't think there's any mitigation in this spot that we get rid of it. Well, oh, except for that, but yeah, yeah that's uh, the work's kind of done. It's like sure, it's five for three, five for three, yeah, five for three, yeah. yeah. Uh, which means that a uh, two damage roll from well, the first focus. order would just yeah. Oh, so here's an Imperial Inspection, does not a thing, but Salvage Stand does strip away a dollar from Dominic. Yep. And he another best, best defense. He kills himself. So <laughs> <laughs> style points. Style points. Wait, you got to show that sweet Altar, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. What else are you going to do if you're not going to show it?